Praise the Lord Church, Deuteronomy chapters 10 to 12. Love the Lord your God, Deuteronomy chapter 11 verses 2 through 23. Remember today that your children were not the ones who saw and experienced the discipline of the Lord your God, His majesty, His mighty hand, His outstretched arm, the signs He performed and the things He did in the heart of Egypt both to Pharaoh king of Egypt and to his whole country. What he did to the Egyptian army, to its horses and chariots, how he overwhelmed them with the waters of the Red Sea as they were pursuing you and how the Lord brought lasting ruin on them. Observe therefore all the commands I'm giving you today so that you may have the strength to go in and take over the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. So if you faithfully obey the commands I am giving you today to love the Lord your God and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your soul, then I will send rain on your land in its season. Both autumn and spring rain so that you may gather in your grain, new wine and olive oil. I will provide grass in the fields for your cattle and you will eat and be satisfied. Fix these words of mine in your hearts and minds. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates so that your days and the days of your children may be many in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors, as many as the days that the heavens are above the earth. If you carefully observe all these commands I am giving you to follow, to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to Him, and to hold fast to Him, then the Lord will drive out all these nations before you, and you will dispossess nations larger and stronger than you. God the Almighty is the one who blesses all those that follow His commands. God gave the Israelites the commandments to follow by loving, serving and passing it on to the next generations, all that they experienced by God's power and outstretched arm. God gave instructions, but choice is for the people to choose. If we choose God and His ways in obedience to His word, we will receive the blessing of God. May we, in obedience, submit ourselves to Elohim, the living God, and love Him with all our heart, mind, body, and soul, and receive His blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Praise be to our wonder-working God, in Jesus' name, Amen.